Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm back today with a quick little haul video. I just got a few things that I've gotten recently that I just wanted to share. Things that I've either found in the wild or that have come in that I've pre-ordered. I have some NECA figures. I have a Star Wars The Mandalorian. I've got a Funko Pop and I've got some WWE Mattel figures. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Gonna start with the NECA figures. First up, I found this in the wild. I was surprised to see this. I'd seen it in the past before and really wanted to pick it up and just never did. And then every time I would go and actually want to buy it, I couldn't find it. My girlfriend and I walked into Target the other day looking for something else and they had it. That is the NECA Hellraiser Ultimate Pinhead. This figure is awesome. Hellraiser, one of my favorite horror movies. Pinhead, one of my favorite horror characters, icons, antagonists, whatever you want to use to describe Pinhead. This figure is incredible, though. The detail on it is insane. Can't wait to get some pictures of this to show the detail and just... It's just awesome. It's got the Lament configuration, two separate versions. In total, three sets of hands and a bunch of really sweet weapons and an alternate like angry face this figure is cool can't wait to crack this open get a better look at it and i just love the front box art so cool staying in the neck of family had a pre-order come in just the other day was so psyched that they put this up for pre-order that they announced it and they put it up for pre-order and I'm so happy to have this, and it looks so good. It's the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, April O'Neil. The box, I did not know the box was going to look like this. Really cool. It looks so good. The likeness to the actress Judith Hogue. Oh man, it's so, so cool. Unfortunately, I didn't get the ultimate, the ultimate edition that has the raincoat or the whatever, the special edition one limited version of her that comes with the raincoat. Hopefully I can either, you know, find one online or something like that. She's got to have her banana raincoat. It just looks so good. Got the different hands, has the the Channel 3 mic, the purse, everything about this is just awesome. Like I said, and just the just the likeness to the actress is awesome. And she worked really closely with the uh, production of this figure. She was there from the very beginning. Which is probably why we ended up not only getting it, but being able to pre-order this figure. Cannot wait to open this up and take a look at it. And to go next to my NECA movie turtles, oh man, it's going to look so sweet. Now I just got to get that Casey Jones. It's next up, the same day that we went to Target that I found the pinhead, found this little guy. I already have the regular version, but I could not pass up. This is my first ever flocked Funko Bob. And it's the Target exclusive Stitch. Just couldn't pass up on him. The regular version is so cute. This one's even better. This one's going to stay in the box. Really, really like this one. Surprisingly, they had four or five of them. My girlfriend also got one for herself. We were both surprised that they still had these. I hardly ever get lucky and find a flocked Funko Pop. I ordered this from Target.com. Got it shipped to store, luckily. For retail price, this thing is probably going to shoot up in value and be ridiculous to find or get a hold of. It is the Mattel WWE Ultimate Edition Nature Boy Ric Flair. Love this figure so much. Love that they went with a, an attire that we hadn't gotten previously in any figure form. With the pink robe, just looks sick don't really care about the belt i already have one of those they've released that a bunch of times 
My only complaint with this figure is I wish that they would have given like a neutral face, like the one in the on the back there. Because you only get either the smiling or you get the, the wooing face. You don't get just a regular, like, relaxed, you know, serious kind of face. So, that's the only, that's, that's my only complaint. I wish that they would have given us a third head and axed the, the belt. We, we don't want another one of these belts, so get that out of here. 16-time world champion, Nature Boy Ric Flair Ultimate Edition. As I've said with everything else, I think, cannot wait to crack this open, take a better look at it. I already really liked these Ultimate figures because of the double jointed elbows, the multiple hands, the multiple heads, the cloth accessories, all of that stuff. Now we've got the butterfly joints in the shoulders, makes it even more poseable and awesome. Man, whoo. Now if I can just find the Stone Cold Steve Austin, Mm. All right, approaching the finish line with this haul. Again, picked this up at Target the other day. Did not know they made a variation of this one. I thought it was just variant carding I'd seen in some other toy hunt videos. No, it's a new one. It's Grogu. In the pram, Hot Wheels. It's a brand new one. Doing the force, do, doing the magic hand thing. I have the first release up here. It's just him just sitting in the pram. But yeah, I did not know that this was that they were making this. Didn't know it was out already. Like I said, I had seen the carding on someone else's videos and just thought it was a variant. No, nope. it's new. So of course I had to pick it up. Another Grogu in the collection. And speaking of Star Wars, The Mandalorian, and Hot Wheels, found this at Dollar General today. It's the Mandalorian car. I already have the baby. I have Grogu. That's Grogu's car right there. I already have that one. So, I had to pick up Mandalorian, right? Grogu's got to have Mando, right? Mando's got to have Grogu. So, I had to pick it up. Five bucks at Dollar General. Grab this the other day at Five Below. They had a bunch of these, and uh, I don't know. I couldn't pass up for four bucks. Got a little uh, Chewbacca. No, you can't see it. There we go. Chewbacca. They had Luke, Leia, Han. I think that's it. And Chewbacca. He was the one they had the least of. They only had about three or four of him. Tons of Luke and tons of Leia. Had to pick out a little Chewy. Gonna go over here on my Star Wars shelf. Star Wars slash Man Mandalorian shelf. And last but certainly not least for this haul. My girlfriend and I had gone to GameStop the other day to pre-order some stuff. Found this on the clearance rack. Been wanting it for a while. Didn't get it as cheap as I wanted to. But I figured it wasn't gonna hang around for long. Finally got Grandpa. Brief Karga. From the Mandalorian. Looks really cool. I love these figures a lot. The likeness is definitely there. Needs a little bit of extra paint, I think, on the top lip, the mustache. Ended up getting it $14.97. I wanted to get it cheaper than that, but now I have it. Closer to completing that uh, Mandalorian Black Series collection until they release more. All right, folks, that is the end of this haul. As always, want to thank you for watching. Have any questions, comments, concerns? If you, I mean, I don't know, drop them down below. If you enjoyed the video, click that thumbs up. I appreciate all the feedback I get, whether it be positive or negative. Let me know what you're thinking of the videos what you, and what you'd like to see in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.